Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is the Bauer Nexus 2N Pro stick review. So this is kind of late um, because the ultrasonic is kind of a few months away, but people have been bugging me about this. So here it is. Um, so my previous experience with the Nexus line was this one end, which I think is two generations. Uh, I think there's this one end and there's another one and then this stick. Um, but I was a big fan of this stick. I thought it did everything like pretty well. Nexus has a kind of tendency of being a, a stick that is well liked and well rounded. It doesn't do anything like the best, but everything is really good and it, it's known for like its puck feel. Um, I think that continues on to the 2N Pro and I think the 2N Pro does a really good job of kind of just continuing the 1N line. Um, I CCM's closest stick is the JetSpeed FT2. Um, so this is their feel stick, but they also say the trigger has a feel, has like the higher feel too. Um, I found that the Jet Speed 2 shoots, like has a quicker kick and quicker release than the Nexus does, but it's a bit, like the blade feels stiffer to me and pingier, whereas the Nexus feels a little more dampened. Um, the sticks I think that are closest to the Nexus right now is the true XC9, um, cause the, AC, the AC9, AX9 that I've used so far is super pingy. Um, so the XC9 is kind of more, a little bit dampened like this one. Um, so it feels closer to that. Besides that, I don't think there's many competitors that I can think of from the big companies um, that is kind of close in terms of blade feel as the Nexus. And that's kind of a props to Bauer, but it's just kind of how Bauer is compared to CCM. CCM blades, in my opinion, are more pingy and stiffer feeling. And Bauer's are a bit softer, except for the Flylight, which takes it all to another level of stiffy and, or stiff and pingy. Um, with that said, so this stick, Bauer did a really good job of dropping the weight. This thing is like 420, I can't remember. It's, it's up there compared to everything now, or I should say especially compared to everything now, but never felt heavy to me. The balance was really good. Um, just everything about it was really solid and like I think Bauer did a pretty good job on it. The tech difference between this and like the new ones is pretty substantial in terms of like the AC, where, are they? where is it here? The advanced carbon layering, and everything they're doing now, I guess this one doesn't have it, but the, like the new, the tech they basically use to lighten these sticks up. I can't remember exactly which the weight on this one was because it was longer. You can easily look that up. It's not really what I'm here for. Balance on this was phenomenal. Um, and especially with the max blade, like I didn't notice it. It doesn't get in the way for weight or anything like that. It feels super light. It definitely is a huge step, like decrease in weight compared to this old one. Um, I will say that the jet speed in my hand feels a little bit heavier than the Nexus, but at the same time, the jet speed is a bit longer. So CCM has about that much extra of stick on all their sticks compared to its competitors where everyone else is a 59 inch CCM is like a 61 or something. Um, so it's a little bit different there. With that said, like I have no issues with the weight on the Nexus. It feels great. It's like the, one of the best all around sticks. And I definitely recommend people like to kind of look at it. If you don't like super low kicks, cause I know some people don't because it's either like passes come off too hot or um, like they're just more difficult to handle because there are a lower kick. And by more difficult to handle, I mean like the puck kind of just jumps off when you don't mean it to. Um, an op, this is kind of like the in-between compared to the Supreme. The Supreme, when I shoot it, I feel like I really have to work to shoot it. Same with the tax. Where this one, it doesn't quite have that kick that the uh, like the low kicks do, but it's kind of that in between. It just it, it's nice. It's it doesn't feel like I'm ripping things like those low kicks, but at the same time, it doesn't feel like I'm working for a shot. If that makes sense, it's a really good all arounder. Um, I think the Max Blade. I think Bauer deserves huge credit for this Max Blade idea. Um, so hopefully this will kind of come out. It it looks way bigger in person when you're looking at them than when you do a side by side comparison. And you really notice it on the ice too, excuse that hair. Um, basically, I've, I'm able to knock pucks out of the air so much easier with the Max Blade than I am without it. And even though it's not like a huge, huge difference, you definitely notice it when playing. And I'm a huge fan of it. CCM is not going the route of doing a Max Blade on their P92 and P P88. Um, they are, they're, sorry, P28 or something, or 29 and they're big ones where Bauer is, and I think Warrior is too, because I had a W03 Max. Um, so Warrior is doing that, Bauer is doing that, CCM is going to something called like a PT90 or something, I can't remember exactly what it is, 
the mix between an 88 and a 28 or something. I, I can't remember, don't quote me on that, but it's a different blade and I'm kind of disappointed in that because like if, if I like this blade, which I do, this is what I use for all my sticks is the P92 or P29. Um, if I like this curve, I can't get it in a Max and CCM. That's kind of disappointing to me where Warrior and Bauer, you still can. So I, I feel like it's kind of a negative there, but they obviously made a choice to do that. You still have that option on the Nexus. So I think it's worthwhile looking into because I can like, especially playing D, just scrap putting your puck, your, sorry, your stick on the ice like that, like stopping bouncing pucks is so much easier on this stick than it is that like the older style with the not max height. And like I don't notice any difference when stick handling and shooting, it plays pretty much the same. Um, so I'm a huge fan of that. Definitely recommend people check it out. Bauer deserves huge credit for it. I'm really looking forward to the ultrasonic because of that new taper. I really want to try. It's like that basically they have an extra side here and I really want to try that and see if it comes down the line. Um, sorry, not ultrasonic. That's Supreme. I can't remember what this one was called. It's, it was leaked, but I don't remember off the top of my head. But anyways, the new Nexus one might have the ADV tech with that kind of extra crease down the side. I'm really interested in to try that and see what they do with the blade. If it has a hole in it. Um, I'm a huge fan of this stick. It's not like it's not my go-to. That's the honestly, that's the FT2 and the trigger four, just because I'm looking for that a bit quicker release. But it's super solid and I would have no hesitation recommending it all. And if those sticks broke, I wouldn't be that upset in the sense that I have this also. And I'm really happy to use this. I kind of sometimes just switch to this one in the like this one in the Sherwood uh, M90 just to kind of mix things up and use different sticks all the time. And I'm really happy when using them. I don't feel like I ever have a disadvantage. So I guess that's it for this review of the Nexus 2N Pro. Big fan of it. Good upgrades over the 1N. It still kind of continues the heritage of the 1N. I don't think they did anything bad there. Um, it's kind of the nice mid stick all the way around. Um, I wish the grip was textured like the Supremes, but I mean, they haven't been on this one for a while. So I guess Bauer isn't really taking anything away from that. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. So thank you very much for watching. Remember to like this video, subscribe to YouTube, hit the bell icon so you get notified of when I make new content. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I have right now a series of stick sh shooting where I am shooting a new stick I have every day, hitting 30 targets, and then talking about the stick on Instagram afterwards. So check that out. I'm sure if you're into this review, you might be interested into just me quickly talking about all my stick collection. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and take it easy.